Hello, my spooners! Welcome back to Being Mrs. S. As usual, I gotta sprinkle some magic on you! Okay! It's not gonna be a long one today because you guys remember I promised you, um, as the series is concerned, the My Life on Ozempic series where I am chronicling my weight loss on Ozempic. So when I started the YouTube channel, you guys know that it was just really talking about my life since I just got married. Uh, you know, my tag, my tagline is forever newly wed. Um, absolutely love being married. And uh, part of it was talking about my weight loss uh, because I had gained some weight just a little bit after sad thing just before my wedding and then it, I, I kept gaining weight you know I started losing weight in preparation for my big day and just I tell you stress is the worst thing ever and then I started gaining weight and it stayed uh, steady for a little while and then of course when we when we got into this uh, uh, coronavirus life it was game over but but I wouldn't say it was because of the coronavirus or just being confined at home it was as I said I had some serious financial stress that I was trying to overcome and that will do it for me anyway oh before we start before we continue let's go ahead and sing oh 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 Zambic, you <laughs> listen 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 I am so excited and I am so I want to say excited blessed impressed <laughs> everything oh it's Palm Sunday everyone I hope everyone's doing you know in a solemn mood considering what's about to happen and uh but anyway let's get into the Suzanne talk let's get into the Suzanne talk i feel like i want to keep you guys here for a few more minutes telling you about different things oh the other day remember i told you that when i started this weight loss journey my whole thing was about research 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 figure out what's best for me with the changes that my body was going through considering you know i'm in the perimenopausal menopausal phase and a stage of my life and things aren't working the way they were working before when I was younger and you know I don't know it was, it's just been crazy um oh my god I had such a wonderful day yesterday um uh, my BDD's best friend and his best friend's wife's best friend it's two couples we went out um for dinner with them and at lunch it wasn't dinner lunch and I we had I hadn't seen um, my my BDD's best friend in a while at least since our wedding anyway but it was so lovely catching up with them it was just it was it was lovely I mean I haven't had a good time like that in a while that's so crazy I kept telling him oh my god I had such a good time they were such sweet people hopefully you get to see them again so that was yesterday um, and it was funny because because we're catching up there was a lot of this whole Ozempic talk I was telling them about and things like that um, but you know they, it, it was just it was a good time had but anyway as I was telling you as I'm doing my research uh, consistently on Ozempic and you know how these phones behave every time they hear you talking about something they kind of push information regarding that to you so I don't even have to go searching for information information comes to me now yesterday was obviously April 1st um, which is April Fool's Day and there were a lot of news stories out there that were kind of suspect but one of them that I saw I didn't click into it and I probably should have but I just thought it's 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 April Fool's Day I doubt this is real but apparently the, uh, Can the Canadian government is supposedly cracking down on Americans who are coming there to purchase Ozempic. I don't know how true this is. I did read somewhere else that it is illegal to purchase 
your prescription drugs from a different co country. I don't know how that is. What if you're traveling and you're there and you lose your drugs or whatever and you need to buy? I'm not even sure how that's even possible, but anyway. So I don't know if it is a uh, an April Fool's story since I saw it yesterday and I don't oh I don't know if it's real. But I know with a lot of us who started on Ozempic um, um, and who, who are not diabetic and weren't able to get it covered by our insurance companies and things like that, we'd have to come up with creative ways to, to get it. Um, because for so, for so many reasons, it's more expensive here. Um, in a lot of places, there was a scarcity, you couldn't find it. You know, I know when I, my, my first, very first dose, when I got it, I had to wait a long time and I'm happy I started ahead trying to look for it because it was crazy. I had to keep calling, 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 and finally when it showed up, you know, it cost an arm and a leg. Um, I have been purchasing my Ozempic here. Um, I did use the good RX uh, coupon for my my first I think my first and second doses the next ones my good RX wouldn't work because I was pur purchasing it through my insurance company's uh, pharmaceutical um, pharmacy it was a home delivery pharmacy and they weren't taking the good RX coupon which I don't understand why but it was a home delivery kind of deal and um, it was the most expensive and I think I've told you this story in one of my other videos when I when I went to get my next dose up which was the two meg dose because I completely skipped getting the one meg dose because I had a, a surplus of the 0 0.25.5 which in that one I give myself two shots at a time when my uh, doctor called in the prescription I don't know what the specifics behind it is or why they did, why they, they were so against giving me the two med dose because they didn't have any history of me ever getting the one med dose from them. And I said, you don't need to worry about that. Just give me my, my um, drug. And then in the next, the last minute they were like, oh, they don't have it. And to me, I feel like that was just their way of escaping that whole we never put on a, she never got on a one meg dose. I don't know what the sign, you know, I don't know what it was, but they said they didn't have it. Next thing you know, they were like, yeah, see if you can get it from somewhere else. And that's what made me go searching everywhere. And then I found um, the pharmacy in King Super. And that's where I've been getting my, I just said, doctor, transfer my prescription to these guys. They are the least expensive except any coupon that you have for that. And then they have their own um, pharmacy coupon, which was even a lot more, a lot less than what I got, or more, I think I'm saying more, yes, because I got the, the prescription for a lot less than anywhere else I'd purchased it. So that was, I'm so happy that happened, and that's where I've been getting prescription form and that's the in in pharmacy store at my local grocers called King Supers and I've been happy for it but anyway as I said this is not gonna be a long one because as I told you I will be giving you updates every month uh, just to keep you uh, um, keep me honest and to keep you abreast with my progress and things like that and I am like I am beside myself, I'm ecstatic, I'm just... It's magic! Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's get into it. So let me, I don't know, I always stand up and I'm like, I don't feel like... You... <laughs> There should be a huge difference. Come on, I went from 276 to where I am right now. The, it should be so obvious, but my stomach is, my stomach will not let me be great, oh Lord. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna stand up. And you can see this t-shirt that used to hug me 
so tightly is loose a little loose um, and then the belly is still there it's still poking out my butt got a little skinnier not happy about that but you know you gotta lose okay let's get into the numbers let me get my so okay so i don't know if you guys can see as, as i told you i'm losing weight so i'm gonna stay in the green just to catch you guys up i have been on the ozempic 2 meg dose i don't know if you can see it okay and this is what the pen looks like and i got i started on the two meg dose uh -oh. Stupid. i started on the two meg dose on the 18th of january okay so this is i started my ozempic journey november 2nd i always have to remind you guys i topped out of my weight at 276.6 pounds ish probably higher than that but i'm just I, let me just keep it at 276.6 and then i started i continued to try to lose the weight by myself 276 i'd never been that heavy before so I have to say it was relatively easy to lose those 20 pounds because I don't think my body was used to that weight. So I got down to about 256. Uh, when I got to 256, I would go back up to like 260 because 260, 266, 265, I've been there before. So I would go back up to the 260s, come back down to the 250s, go back up and that's what I kept doing. I was yo-yoing between those that, that range to where I wasn't ever going below 250 so when I went to my doctor to try to get an Ozempic I was at around 250 ish um, by the time I started uh, Ozempic I had gone up to 256.6 so as of March 29th which was Wednesday I have lost a total of 53.2 pounds as of last week I've lost more since then but I, I keep telling you I'm giving you because that's when I update my spreadsheet when I take my shot I update my spreadsheet so as of March 29 2023 I have lost 53 point two pounds i added some um additional calculations to because i was keeping it cumulatively how many pounds i was losing every week from shot to shot and then i added on the total uh, uh weight that i lost since the beginning of my zempic journey so so um so technically i've lost 73.2 pounds since i started losing weight and i it's it's a crazy number to think about it because i'm like how <laughs> you know <laughs> you know i said it in the other video i was you know i was dancing in front of my bdd and i was like do i look like i've lost the weight he was like you look like you lost 70 pounds and i said shut the front door and i thought about it and i was like oh my god i have actually lost you know over 70 pounds that's crazy anyway so but while on ozempic i've lost as of wednesday uh march 29 2023 i've lost 53.2 pounds on ozempic my total percentage of pounds lost is 20.73 percent um and what i think the when they did the studies the clinical studies they are they are saying that a um 
people lost an average of 15% or something like that. So I'm already a little over that with the 20.73%. Overall, I've lost 26.46% of my um, of my body weight uh, since I started losing weight. So I, I don't know who, who needs to hear this, <laughs> but um, it is, it just feels so good to be on this path. And when I mentioned my my uh, BDD's uh, best friend, when we we're talking about it, you know, a few of the questions they asked about, cause they, I don't know who hasn't heard about Ozempic now, come on. Everybody's heard about Ozempic. And they said, what about, you know, the side effects and this, that, this, and I was like, I'm not even gonna knock on wood because there's no point. Since I started taking the, uh, Ozempic, I have not had a single side effect. And I think I told you on one of my my um, other videos, the side effects I got, which were like, yes, give me those any day. And those were not side, no side effects per, you know, the studies. So th that nausea, that uh, constipation, um, diarrhea, I think I heard headaches or something like that. None of that have I experienced since my, uh, what am I now? I think, am I going into my fifth month? I think I'm going into my sixth month, November, December, January, February, March. Uh, wait, November, December, January, February. Yeah, so I'm going, this is April, so I'm going into my sixth month. So in five months, I have lost over 53 pounds on Ozempic. And, um, it's the best feeling in the world. Now, one of the other questions they asked was, because I, I did mention that I'm going to stay on the drug until I reach my goal weight. I keep going back and forth. It's between when I get on the 27 um, BMI or when I reach my goal weight. I don't know which one, you know, where I'm going. It, it just, I don't want to... <sighs> mess up the hard work that I've done by getting off of it and for whatever reason not being able maybe my brain isn't rewired to where it needs to be with my relationship with food and that I get gain all of it back so I think I want to just take it till I get to my goal weight and then when I get to my goal weight you know whatever will be will be hopefully by then this brain of mine would say okay now I know what to do but well, based on my, okay, so my app is showing my weight, my current weight as of today. Um, so I, I'm just going to tell you what it says my BMI is. When I started, my BMI was over 38. Now it is 30.8. I've lost over 70 pounds and this stupid app is still calling me obese class one. Can you believe that? <laughs> is that not annoying? But uh, I'm still uh, considered obese class one. I was, I went from, but hey, can we count our blessings? Because I went from obese class two to obese class one. So I'm right now in obese class one. Uh, my BMI is at 30.8. Uh, and it looks from this app, it's showing me that my average, uh, I'm using an average of 10.8 or a little over that every 30 days. So that tracks. Um, it's not drastic. I was really thinking that I was going to, you know, lose about a pound a day. And so then maybe a, every, a month I'd lose 30 pounds, 31 pounds and things like that. But it's not doing that, which in a way I'm kind of happy about because that way it's not, it's not drastic or detrimental. I think the way I'm losing it is the safer cause, the way it would naturally happen. So uh, I'm happy about that. I'm just not happy that it's taking, it's going to take a lot longer you know which means if i'm still trying to lose weight i may have to keep shelling out more money for this ozempic until i get to where i'm comfortable um sitting at but anyway it, it's really exciting per my app i have 62.6 pounds 
um, more to go to reach my uh, to reach my goal weight. So I think um, I don't know why that that doesn't sound right, but yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that's right, sixty two point six pounds. Um, to go to reach my goal weight. <laughs> So, whew, that's a lot, and it, it's a lot to 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 take in. Um, but anyway, that's the update. I just wanted to share this with you. It's very exciting. I feel good. Um, <laughs> I want to go out more. I'm like, honey, let's go somewhere. Let's go do something. You know, show off, show off the almost felt me. Hello's. <laughs> um, but um, it's really exciting. Anyone who is talking about getting on Ozempic or Monjaro or Wigovi with their doctors and things like that, and you're watching this and you have questions for me, I am more than uh, happy to share with you my th my my experience. Remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm not prescribing. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just showing you or talking about what's working for me or what I'm doing for myself. So please, like, share, watch the video, uh, comment, ask your questions because I I am more than happy to share. It's it's a drug that is working perfectly for me. I will say at this time, and I uh, yes, I'm going to sing. <laughs> sing the praises of Ozempic, Ozempic. Okay. So anyway, thank you, my smooners. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I, I I thank you, those of you who have subscribed, my new subscribers who have joined the smooners community, my smooners. Um, thank you for uh, for um, thank you for subscribing. Don't forget to like, share and comment i love those comments i'm happy to respond to those comments and i will circle back love you my spooners <laughs>